So we'll start. Okay, so um, as I shared in my presentation, Kenya is emerging as a um, potential data hub for the region. Now, why is Data Protection Act important? So if Kenya wants to maintain its position as a regional uh, centre for, um, for data hub, for, for all sorts of things, as it already is, it needs to have a good rule of law around the things that, that are passing through. You know, just as if, if goods are passing through Kenya, you know, we need to know that there's law. Um, you know, if Uganda want to import goods that are coming from Mombasa through Kenya, they need to be sure that there's a good rule of law in Kenya that, that if those goods are stolen, that they will be dealt with and followed up. The same applies for data. If, if we're going to be a hub for the region and, and store data for Uganda, Rwanda and other countries, then you know, we need to be certain that um, that data is safe, that data is safe in Kenya. Um, it also, um, you know, we, we are um, in a competitive world, yeah? so um, we heard that South Africa um, has been the first country that Microsoft have invested in a data centre in Africa. It's a very, very big investment and it's going to mean a big deal for the ICT um, development ecosystem in South Africa. You know, we need to um, we need to be the, the place they come next, East Africa. We, we don't want Tanzania to steal, to steal that investment. We want that investment to come to Kenya, we want those jobs to be created. We've got a lot of resources here in terms of connectivity and, and skills, and we want to use those resources. So what we don't want is lack of a good rule of law and making it an adaptable place for investment. So people will invest in places they see um, as safe. When you're investing a lot of money, you want to see that it's a safe environment for the data. So it's really, really important. Um, and you know, as well, we heard about the, um, from Microsoft, we heard about the European Union legislation. You know, if you're a Kenyan independent software company and you're making a software, you might not want to restrict your market to, to, to the local market. You might want to sell this in the European Union. You might want to store that in the cloud in Kenya and, and, and sell it to the whole rest of the world. You know, we need to have data protection legislation that keeps up with the rest of the world to allow our guys who are developing things to go to global markets.